Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm very happy to present to all of you today, and I hope that after my presentation, there's some thoughts that can go home with you and into your workplace. So I'm going to be discussing the impact for organizations and as well as for learners with regards to learnerships. So I'm not going to delve into this too much because I know that a lot of you are aware and it has been discussed in previous presentations with regards to the BE score points. We are aware that that is a impact for the organizations <laughs> out there when it comes to skills development as well as for training learners with disabilities and as well as the tax rebates. So the a great thing about training and also offsetting the cost, which is a great a motivation for organizations to do training, is the tax rebate that they can get back. So I've got the amounts over there. As you can see, it is a 40,000 Rand when they do the NQF levels one to six. That is right from your general education and training certificate right up to your diploma. So you would go for any training learnership at a training organization for that. And for any learner with a disability, they get a tax rebate back of 60,000 Rand. Once they start going to an organization uh, such as this one, where they go for their diplomacy degrees, which is NQF level 7 to 10, so NQF level 10 being your, your PhD, that is a rebate of 20,000 Rand if they do not have a disability, and then 50,000 Rand for disability. So they get those rebates back. So it's not physical cash, they get that back on their, their taxes. And uh, that is upon successful completion of the learnership. So that is also why it's so vital for the learners to be motivated and really driven to finish the learnerships, not only for them, but it is also a benefit for the organization. So um, as well with the, the CETA, you get the pivotal mandatory and discretionary grants that also really just helps to offset the, the cost of the training. It's not just the training that they need to offset the cost for, but also stipends, allowances, that kind of thing as well. So with the discretionary grants, the ACETA puts aside 80% for the pivotal programs as well, so that addresses your scarce and critical skills. And then with your mandatory grants, it's calculated at 20% of an employer's um, skills levy. And then you also get your discretionary grants, which is at an organization CETA, and um, they will then set aside funding during the course of the year, which they then have to apply for. Okay, and then what is very important, so yes, while the, the BE and the grants and all of that is wonderful, offsets the cost, what's the most important part of doing this training is that you're making a change for those people's lives. So what is great is that you are creating a skilled workforce. It also creates a recruitment pool for the organization. And not only that, we're making South Africa a better place. And we also give the learners an opportunity to gain skills. A lot of the learners, and I know that was also one of the previous presentations, have gone to special schools. And even if they have gone to your general schools, they don't get the skills that they need to actually go out there and even find a job. They are taught how to, to clean the table. They shown how to take a file and just pack it away. They leave that school when they're 18 years old and they have got no idea what they are going to do with the rest of their lives. And a lot of the time, the skills schools don't know what to do either. They. So um, our motto is that somebody just needs to believe in them and they become employable by believing in themselves. So the impact for the learner is that they get a registered qualification or skills because once they leave that special school as well, they only have an equivalent of a grade nine. They get a stipend which supports their families. <coughs> We've actually had quite a few learners because um, we also train in the, the rural areas. 
they were able to build houses off of these stipends, believe it or not. Hmm. A small stipend, we were shown the houses that they built for themselves. Every month they bought bricks and material. Then also giving them the confidence that they need in themselves. Understanding the world of work as well as entrepreneurship. Because if there is no jobs out there, then let's create them. Then also creating opportunities for employment and then becoming employable by believing in themselves. So we've got a, a few success stories as well. I just wanted to share it with you so that you can see the impact that there is for training people up that have disabilities. One of our learners wants to become an English tutor, but she lacked the skills to become an entrepreneur. So by doing this training, she's learned how to become an entrepreneur. She knows how to portray her body language, that kind of thing. But the most important thing is that she's gotten the confidence to now do it. And then also another one of our learners, born with cerebral palsy. When he'd started off the training, he was unable to write in the workbooks because one of the requirements is that they have to write. So we had made an arrangement. The host organized um, a a keyboard and, and all of that in a computer so that um, he could type out his answers. And with that, they put him into the IT department because that's where they could assist him. And they'd actually unearthed a, a hidden talent. He was fantastic. He'd implemented a project to improve the computer system for their clients. And they told me that within that week, they got him to sign on the dotted line. They wanted him permanent. He was fantastic and a learner that had been sitting at home, no hope, didn't know what he was going to do for the rest of his life. And he's still there. Yes, after three years now. And he is just excellent. So it's just finding those talents in these learners and showing them that there is a future for them and giving them the skills that they didn't have before. Yeah, so embracing the change and preparing for the future. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the rest of the summit. Thanks.